Hi, this is Danny from the Whiteboard Blog, and in this quick tutorial, I want to show you a new feature of Smart Notebook 11 called the Activity Builder. Uh, this lets you create your own little activities, which um, are similar to some of the games you may have seen on the internet, where you can drag an object into another object, and if it's in the correct place, it'll stay there. If it's in the wrong place, it'll ping back to where it came from, and you have to have another go. So um, I've set this page up just very quickly in advance. All I've done here is is drawn a square and typed in two separate words, yes and no. So to use the Activity Builder, I'm going to go over to this new tab on the side here called Add-ons. Click on there, and you can see the Activity Builder. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be more stuff going to be there in the future, hopefully. But I'm going to click on the Activity Builder. It's currently telling me that I've um, got no Activity Objects on the page. So if I now choose the thing that I want to contain my shapes, I'm going to click on this blue square here. If I click Edit, you see how the box has become shaded. So the little toolbar on the left hand side now will let me decide what I'm going to accept and what I'm going to reject. So all I need to do is find the things that want to be accepted. So in this case I'm going to take the word yes and I'm going to drag that over here to that top box like so. And the word no to want to reject I drag down to the bottom here like so. Uh, I can also click on settings and I can choose things like when the object's accepted I can have it um, spin and when it's rejected I can have it bounce back. I could also add a sound to it if I wanted to and have it play that sound. I'm fine with that so I'm going to say done. So to check that this is working um, if I drag the yes into the green square it'll spin in the right place if I drag the no down to the green square, it'll bounce back. That's in the wrong place. So you could set that set of conditions up for several objects if you wanted to. Um, I can then move the S back out. Save that file. That's ready to, to use with the students. So to put that into a bit of context, let's try that with an actual lesson example. So on this page, I've got two boxes this time, and I can set conditions accordingly. So what I'll do, if I start with the box that actually has the insects in it, I'll click on the insects box, I'll choose edit, and you can drag several objects at once. If I select all of the insects, and I've conveniently put them together to make it easier to select them, I'll drag those over to this side, and they then go into the accept box. If I select all the non-insects, and I'll drag them down to the reject box, and again, on the settings, when accepted, let's have them spin. And when rejected, we'll keep that as bounce back, and we'll say done. And then if I go to the, the non-insects box, same thing. I'll now go up to Edit, click on Edit. I'll select these, because these are the non-insects, and drag those into that box. And if I then go up here and I select the insects, and I'll drag them to the reject box. And again, if I just check on the settings, I'll have them spin, I'll keep the bounce back, and I'll say done. So again, to check that that's working, if I drag an insect into the insect box, it should spin and stay there. If I put an insect in the wrong box, it'll bounce back. And if I take my spider, that'll bounce back. But if I put them in the right box, it'll spin. Obviously once I've set this up like this I'd then jumble up the the insects and the non-insects so that um, it's not really obvious that they're in two groups but when making it I find it's easier to have all the related objects together um, on part of the screen. It's easier to put them into the, the correct groups and then you can always jumble them up later on everything can be moved. So there's lots of different ways that you could use these. Anything where you need to put things into two or even three or four groups, um, you can set these up quite quickly. Um, if you've got any questions, um, you can get me through the blog or you can um, contact me on Twitter. I'm Danny Nick on Twitter. Um, I look forward to seeing the kind of things that you're making with the Activity Builder. I think it's a really useful little tool that can, can um, create some interesting activities quite quickly. And I'm also looking forward to seeing what else is going to appear in that um, widgets box in the near future as well. Thank you very much for listening. Um, do check the blog for updates and um, 
switch， 一个是。